Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. Would you capitalize Because, far you know, East? this is in America. Right. That's like, where does this game take place again? Yeah. America. America. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Because this is America. Mm -hmm. Look, I've watched enough anime to know that there are some pretty delicious looking bento boxes. That's true. Oh, absolutely. Why not make the lunches here? Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? <laughs> no. Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General So's trilobite lunch set. Not trilobite. Does that look like a fucking trilobite to you, Phoenix Wright? Who translated this game? Put th put them on court for their crimes against trilobites. <laughs> Goddamn. Take a trail of bite out of them. Uh, uh, never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate a part of trail of bites flavor. Again, you can't, Phoenix. They're extinct. <clears throat> anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. Yet we said that. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall booth that says security above it? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. Don't you know anything about <laughs> romance, Phoenix? So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far... Fucking nerd. You, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. Not. <laughs> a useful yeah. analysis, not. Not. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> uh. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? How many times I've heard a story begin that way? I sense some hostility. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. <laughs> kind of like a ten-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. I wonder if we'll <laughs> hear about it extensively over the course of this case. That'd be for sure. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Cough up, Queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Okay, uh, before we forget, the chat has told us several times to check out the ladder. Aha! A ladder! Um, that's a step oh, ladder. God. Fuck, that's okay, what this Phoenix. is about. <laughs> this is like a running thing in the series where, like, the difference yep. between a ladder and a step ladder is extremely confusing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. It's scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. What the fuck does that even mean right now, Emma? This all sounds horribly familiar somehow. Okay. So they posted the meme in the Discord. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to do the... Well, I mean, that would, you'd, have to, you'd have to do Apollo's voice right now. Oh, that's right. Frickin' Apollo, Apollo Justus. I mean, we, we reserve the right to change Apollo's voice. <laughs> I was gonna say, but wouldn't you be Apollo? That's a good because, question, yeah. Yeah, you would you would have to be Apollo as well. Oh, I'll just make him even somehow higher pitched than Phoenix, because he's younger. There you go. Ah, <sighs> Los Angeles. Truly the greatest city in, the United, in these United States of America. I, for one, am proud to live in a country with as rich a history and culture as ours. Something about this... Mm, that's too similar. Something about this seems... off. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Apollo. Now, come and let's all enjoy a traditional American meal around this traditional American gotatsu. Eat your burgers, Apollo. 
<laughs> Very good. That is really good. Uh, hell yes. <laughs> Eat your burgers, Apollo. <laughs> About this card. <laughs> Lunchland vendors only. Or Lunchland vendors only accept cash. No cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? Not by her, but just you by are. everybody. <laughs> you are being mocked. Okay, let's go, let's to, go this. to the high prospector's oh, office. Let's go visit Snoop Dogg. Fuck yes. Yeah, here's Edgeworth's office. Oh, there's the King of Prosecutors trophy. Yep. There's the fucking pot with a goddamn cravat on it. Cravat on it, yep. jeez. And there's a steel God. a steel samurai fig. Yep. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Okay, thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, that giant shield that is attached to a podium kind of looks like a trophy? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Like, how fucking dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's office this is, he must be a real stuck-up jerk. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Mr. Phoenix Wright. No, Emma, you made me look like an idiot. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. I hear it every night when I sleep. Uh, a long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! Uh, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> you know him from somewhere? Uh, of course. I'm his biggest fan. Well, step the fuck back, Emma, okay? Hold on, I'm lady. his biggest fan. <laughs> yeah. Get in line, okay? <laughs> what brand of shampoo does he use, huh? <laughs> My sister introduced us once, and... Right. Her sister was the chief prosecutor, after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> You heard that? <laughs> oh my god, did Edgeworth get a sense no. of humor? Did I? No. It was just Mr. Wright here. He. Hey, don't blame me. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. <laughs> okay, I'm like, it doesn't fucking have a taste in cars. Like the Chevy Silverado. <laughs> <laughs> Which car brand are we supposed mm -hmm. to be advertising? I, I've lost the plot on this this joke. I think it was Chevy. It was, the Chevy, it was, it was Chevy, Chevy Silverado. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was the Chevy yeah. Silverado. Now with 32 miles per gallon. <laughs> the Opus on APR for 16 months. <laughs> In the best safety class. Oh. That would be my car. What of it? Oh, no. Oh, thank God my boyfriend has good taste in cars. <laughs> what? Your car? I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. What the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> we also get God, some new edge can, can, can we exa Yeah, can we examine oh. anything in this office first? Right, right. The chat, the chat was yelling. Uh, chess I want to examine everything in this office. Hey, a chessboard. I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. Is that a fucking blue chest? Is there, is there a singular blue chest piece on the board? Yeah. Uh-huh. It looks like gray or green to me. Eh. Oh, it's tomato tomato. Zach confirmed colorblind. Yep. The red knights have surrounded the blue pot. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. Emma, fucking go back to school for another four years. You, fuck, you fucking get it, Mr. Wright? You fucking get it. <laughs> like, I'm. It's, this is good shit, scientifically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. 
It kind of reminds me of you. I'm going to fucking kill somebody if they make fun of my hair. I'm going to murderize you. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edge is surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Oh, my dream. My fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's nothing. <laughs> I, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Chess roleplay. <laughs> it's the Queen's Gambit. The cough up Queen's Gambit. God damn it. Got him. <laughs> uh, gonna have to make that damn joke it. now. That's very good. <laughs> my, my, my. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. And beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. I like how you're just walking around in his office picking up things. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, Edge, why don't you snoop around your office, grab your stuff, inspect don't your personal me. items. Make yourself at home, I suppose. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. That's where. That's where I'd like to be. <laughs> Wendy, is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Hi, it's me again. Um, I don't think so. She better fucking not be. <laughs> uh, I'll send that girl. I'll send that bitch to an early grave. <laughs> Solid just says, I look pretty good for a dead bitch, Wendy old neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that like a, like, what's that on the wall? This? His, yeah. His literal coat? Uh, I was gonna it's say, his, it's just like an extra coat? Okay. It's, you, you get to see him wear that in yeah. a flashback case at some point. Mm -hmm. It's It's like what he wears before... It's his even more fucking gussied up yeah. outfit. How is that even possible? <laughs> Nothing. Wow. Impossible. This jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right. I've never seen him wear it. <laughs> Edgeworth will get lucky if he wears that jacket. <laughs> I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. I'm, I, I'm literally in the room and can hear everything you're saying, <laughs> by the way. Why are you talking about me like I'm not here? Maybe I'll be naughty. I'll take a picture. Emma, you're going to horny jail. Yep. You're going to get tried as a minor, but a juvenile. Juvenile horny jail. <laughs> juvenile. Horny juvenile hall. Yeah. She's getting way too excited about this. Okay, we're checking the couch, everybody. Mr. Hedgeworth has such a comfy sofa. What the fuck am I? Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. I bet he pours over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. I love, again, the idea that Edgeworth is just watching the two of them, like, like just right. luxuriate in the couch. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> then he takes off his jacket. Rolls up his sleeve. Again, Emma is yeah? definitely going yeah? to horny juvenile. Phoenix is like, and then what? What happens next? And goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about my fantasies. I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and little creases in his cheek from the seams. Okay. <laughs> I am still right fucking here. He's so cool. Sofa hair is cool. <laughs> if sofa hair is right, cool, she has... you can call me Miles Davis. <laughs> what? It's a, it's a... <laughs> Boo. It's a, it's a, it's a, what is that movie? Big, Billy Madison? If pee in your pants is cool, then I'm Miles Davis. Oh, yeah. And Phoenix yes, has bad I, hair. I, I, sofa I hair do is remember cool. that. I'm Miles Davis. It's not okay. great. The All right, too, too many late, too many, too many, too obscure. The chat's gonna fucking dunk on me in a second. Please, please do. 
Oh, they are. I can, it's already. I like coming. how Emma's got a little a little baby crush on Edgeworth. It is cute. cute. She's an idiot, but she's cute. <laughs> she's an idiot if, if she thinks she's gonna take my man. So the body was found in your car. Yes, yes, because I murdered That's... him. Damn it. <laughs> Got me again, Ryan. <laughs> Wes literally beating me to the joke as I'm trying to say it. <laughs> Go ahead. Say it, right? You think I did it, don't you? No! I literally got you, you... There was a case where you swore up and down you did it, and I was the only person who said no. Why would I think this now? After you went through all the trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Emma, you are really not helping right now, by the way. Emma, you fucking... Damn, Emma. Emma's like, listen, I, this is my one thing is to get my sister free. And then all of a sudden she sees cute boy and she says, nah, fuck fucking that narc. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... <laughs> Taco Sensei says, I mean, scientifically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> wait. So, you're the chief prosecutor's... Yeah, you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then. Yes, sir. Emma Sky. It, um... It, it's nice to meet you again. Now, that didn't sound forced at all. Kind of like that joke I was making earlier. Ah, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. I mean, is it really that surprising at this point? More surprising still. Oh. <laughs> now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth. Talk about an ultimate uh, conflict in Emma Sky. I want Edgeworth to win because he's so dreamy. <laughs> but also my sister. <laughs> to be honest... It's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? You mean when I saved your fucking ass from getting yourself convicted two <laughs> months ago? I'd say that was a miracle. Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? I mean, the ones rumors about us? my demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth. Mega hunk. <laughs> It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. He's been living in my head rent-free ever since. Forging <laughs> evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. What about illegal seizures? I wish he'd illegally search me. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! <laughs> some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Uh, really a quick. toy story. Uh, 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 the chat does want to know what, what we think of Edgeworth's new sideways smile sprite, which is unique. Oh, love it's it. Good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's very nice. Now we just need Jake Marshall to go, there's a snake in my boot. <laughs> Somebody poison the water hole. <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Sky. Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. All right, you were fucking 22. That's right. I remember. 
But he has tried cases younger than that, That's I think. That's also true, yeah. Because I think there's a flashback where he's like 18 yeah, and he I, does a case. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I can't remember in which game. It's an anime it's story, in... so everybody is child prod prodigies. Yeah. That's true. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. <laughs> Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. The chance saying that he was 20 in that youngest trial. He was 20? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? <laughs> Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife, no, which Jesus. has my fingerprints all over it. God damn it. <laughs> Edgeworth, I love you. Why the fuck do you have a knife? I was going to say, are you going to have a knife? Why? Listen, I, I, shanking people now? I, love, I love that it is your odd shade of purple. But why? <laughs> because he has to have everything color coordinated. Do they ever explain why he's so obsessed with that shade of purple? No, it's because no. it's a contrast to Phoenix. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Spurs is like a cravat on his fucking knife somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it would be very good. Every chest, every like chest piece has a cravat on it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Okay, Did that's, cars that's a, that's at least toolboxes have knives? I mean, you gotta cut a wire or something. I mean, it's, it's, not un, it's not unreasonable. What's more, I think actually what's more confusing for me is that his car is this like bright red sports car. And not a fucking maroon car with a cravat on the fucking bumpers. That's disappointing to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't want to shut. He didn't want to shell out the custom the uh, paint for the custom maroon color. <laughs> That's fair. Edgeworth is actually cheap as fuck. I sell cravat and cravat accessories. <laughs> it's the Hank Hill of this universe. Uh, uh -huh. Juggernaut today says question for Pridge, specifically Pridge Dog. Uh, that's your new name. Uh, have Pretty there dark. have there been incidences with prosecutors successfully convicting other prosecutors or defense attorneys failing other defense attorneys? Is there laws that would prevent any possible bad work relationships because of this? Yeah, so I mean, my big question is conflict of interest in a situation like this. Mm. Like, would they really bring you in to prosecute your boss? Mm. That. Again, assuming you have at least anywhere near a cordial relationship with your boss, I I feel like there's got to be some conflict of interest there. And Remember, they try there's to only sit. two. There's only two prosecutors in the whole district. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they, I I feel like they try to see if they could bring in an out of district prosecutor because, like, even if you say uh, you're okay with that, I feel like it's just a bad look. Like, it, it just feels like there's going to be conflict of interest there. Um, with defense to turn, I mean, again, same thing on the defense side. It, it, you're it, it, again, it'd be well, actually, no, less so on the defense side because I mean, assuming you get along with a, the the person who uh, the other defense attorney, I mean, that's fine. Um, and again, since you shouldn't defend yourself, even defense attorneys are going to get other defense attorneys. So it, it's less likely there, but I, I would question them having Edgeworth prosecute his boss. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. We have to Jojo put another great Instagram multiple picture thing in the chat. Uh that me and Wes are now gonna have to voice because it's very good. Oh shit. <laughs> of Phoenix and uh Edgeworth like chilling together having their coffee, like getting ready for a case. <laughs> oh, okay, I see it. <clears throat> Oh, and there's lots of this one, too. Yep, yep. Okay, we're on it now. Okay. Oh, damn it. This debunks our entire argument. I ruined it. 
Oh, well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I, I didn't even care. I... <laughs> I was kidding, Phoenix. April Fools just wanted to cheer you up. Oh. I would die for you. Also, April Fools was last week. Shit. <laughs> Who would convict that look in Emma's eyes? (laughs) Oh my gosh. That was really cute. (laughs) That's very good. Oh, I was rushing. I'm sorry. No, this is very good. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is adorable. That is crazy adorable. (laughs) My cheeks hurt. I'm smiling. I love her little her little fingers like beep beep beep. We're going to keep playing the game. <laughs> Video games. Uh, also, Juggernaut today says, Pridge looks so dead listening to Zach and Wes fawn over Bikini Grandpa and dying. I mean, lesson. <clears throat> now it's just hot as hell in my office right now. I feel so bad for you. We got an Ed- Edgeworth knife. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Phoenix, wow. Jesus! Fuck Come you, on. dude. Come on, can't he take a joke? It was a joke! It was a joke! What, am I funny to you? Like, funny like a clown, huh? <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at that knife. Just in case... Uh, yeah, check it. Traces of the victim's blood, no prints. No prints. Ooh, spinny knife. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that, or Edgeworth's cut himself peeling an apple. <laughs> Shut up, Phoenix. <laughs> What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this, anyways? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. You know, he takes his shirt off. Edgeworth? In the cuts wild? Cuts some wood. I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Hey. Are you kidding? Hey, he can peel the clothes off this fruit anytime. Oh my god. Jesus god. You're under exactly. arrest. Now. I'm under you're arrest. Going, you're going to actual jail for that? Yeah, that was, that was bad. Uh, I don't know what she just said. Hold on. Fuck, did I skip it? You went past it too fast. Well, that's whatever it was, that's a scary thought. (laughs) Peeling the fruit? Scary thought. Yeah, okay. That's it. That's a knife, all right. Yep, Zach's... (laughs) Yeah, the chat's saying actual jail time for Zach for that joke. (laughs) Oh, you haven't examined the ID card yet. Oh, we. I think we did while no, you we were. Did. No, we didn't. A name oh, and yeah. an ID number were written here. Detective Bruce Goodman. ID. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Detective Bruce Goodman, ID Yabadab. <laughs> See? Wouldn't that be better? No. No, I'm absolutely certain they should only use numbers now. Thank you for confirming it. <laughs> Yabadab. <laughs> well, it does have a certain ring to it. And this is where I'll put footage. Good men's. Meet the good yep. men. I was saying, this is where I'll put footage of Fred Flintstone. Uh... Exactly my point. <laughs> Doesn't take much to amuse her. Okay. Uh, somebody's saying present the fucking badge to Edgeworth, which fine. No, I mean, should we, should we, should we actually? I once dreamed of being a defense attorney, a long time ago. Yeah, that was before your dad died. What? You wanted to be a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? Yet. My path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might have been. Yeah, okay. I actually present him the Goodman badge. 
That's actually a good point. <laughs> I'm out here trying to meme. Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. M Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he'll take it for sure, won't he? Oh, come on. <sighs> we can't fucking share evidence as boyfriends. We can share other things. We can share intimacy, but we can't <laughs> share fucking evidence. I wish you, I could you, be on the You two draw a strict line Edgeworth. between your personal and professional lives. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I stepped over you saying this is actually a good line. I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. Fuck you, Emma. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's true. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, look at this new fan art of... What's in horny jail? And me and Bridge. <laughs> oh my god! It's like it's like vaguely cursed too, which I love. Like uh -huh. How big Wes is makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Wanna come in? No, we're good. <laughs> The oh. horny's fine. Oh no. Okay. Uh, I guess we've done everything we can here, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. Think? Just, just for shits and giggles. Can we? Is this ladder any different? Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa. These are all case files. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone no, get them. No, he's not him. good with earthquakes. Hey, pal. Oh, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumption? Let's <laughs> <laughs> just, just chime again with the. Hey, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> was, was so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, just disappear for a second. <laughs> He's okay, I'm so gone now. Cool. <laughs> you wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Okay. Okay, what Phoenix. Way to be a dick. What the fuck, Phoenix? Uh, Holly just says himbo gumshoe living in Nick's mind rent free. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we really have anything new here. I mean, we could show her the knife, but I don't think there's gonna be anything with that. Well, maybe she said she saw her holding the knife. Yeah. Could you take a- no, it's gonna be something generic. You! You said you wanted some hot tea, right? Uh, no, but spill the tea, sis, please. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> you must have to brew the leaves a long time to get rich flavor like this. We pre-infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite. The only thing I'm smelling here is wasted time. Yeah! yeah <laughs> uh, can you... Oh. Examine the security station? I don't know if we already did that, but... No, or, like... Oh, the door. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of a dual purpose, kind of a verse. You ever thought about that, Emma? Fuck you. Aha! The theory of relativity. Not remotely related, but sure. <laughs> theory of relativity? What? what? Uh... I've got to write this down. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Maybe, maybe, you know, was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? He's more transatlantic. Mr. Relativity. Are, are you sure that was his name? What was that yeah, joke? That I don't even get what they were ever. going for on that one. The, the, look at the glass, like the glass partition up in the top left. Oh, like, oh, okay. Yeah, like up there. Look, a stylish glass-walled room. Very nice. 
You could see the whole parking lot from in there. In there. It says Sakura tea. <laughs> Perhaps it's a cafe. Are you a scientist or an idiot? <laughs> yeah, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> why would why would she guess it was a cafe? Huh? Cafe Security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. Real talk, Cafe Security is a good name for a cafe. <laughs> um, I hate to break it to you, but I think you're an idiot. I think that's probably just a security <laughs> guard office. You know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad they don't have a test for common sense, you dumb bitch. Uh, oh. Boo! Uh, Geba moron. has followed. Geba, thank you for the follow. Uh, can you examine the phone? You mean this Next thing? to the pillar? Oh. No, next to the... Yeah, that. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears! No, my ears! Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey! What did you just say? I didn't. See? You can hear just fine. The phone's broken. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, we, we never examined his desk. Yeah. Good point. A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. I hate you, Emma. Just kind of like Mr. Edgeworth. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Just like in Edgeworth's eyes. Hey, what's up, pal? No, wait, don't let me go! <laughs> Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Wow, she spent she spent an hour with me. <laughs> Don't. He'll sue you. <laughs> yeah, Emma spends like an hour with Phoenix, and she already wants to start stealing stuff. I mean, Emma is I'm a truly hardcore a bad simp. influence. <laughs> Emma is a hardcore simp for uh, Edgeworth. Though, to be fair, I suppose Phoenix is too. A tea set. Oh, cute! What a pretty tea set. I go, <laughs> I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction! There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. What what are we missing? Uh, I guess I think we just need to examine everything in the underground parking lot. No. Okay. We'll go back. I I don't think it's here. Yeah. This this I think is one of the problems with this case is it gets a little like examine the terminal and the barrel yeah, and the, the barrel, door. The terminals. Look, a door. This must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No. It won't open. Mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Before I start enjoying yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> An oil drum. It looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I, I can't even budge it. The drum over here is on its the drum over here is on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. <laughs> in fact, you Then may I'll stake out in the jail. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. Uh, okay, we did that. So I, I feel like this computer thing should be an obvious thing to be able to oh, look you at. Can't examine that. Uh, examine the partition. Now, yep. Yeah. This wall is in our way. It's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank. I fail to see how it makes any difference either way. I mean, 
Jesus. I don't know. I think we actually need to examine the King of Prosecutors trophy in Edgeworth's office. Oh, did we just click the sofa? I think we clicked the sofa, uh... not the trophy. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. For killing. Yeah, don't win, don't win three in a row and then put them next to each other. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's from the King of Prosecutors. <laughs> huh? Uh, what's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. Oh, I love that SNK game. King of Prosecutors? Don't, don't stutter like that, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> we literally just said this. <laughs> just be careful how your stuttering comes across as text, okay? <laughs> it's a great honor. We send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? Wait, so is there one for defense attorneys? Because where's mine? I'm fucking undefeated. <laughs> so that K... That's... K stands for king? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Yeah, big whoop. You want to fight about it? <laughs> I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. Okay, oh, I, just took it. I just steal it. All right, Edgeworth, we're going to take your award. If you don't want it. Uh, and shove it in your face. I'll show it to him. I bet we have to show it to what's your face downstairs. So, in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? Even though you got a convic convicted of murder yourself? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. <laughs> huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield the police department the police department what's that what's that metal gear <laughs> yes right next to the police station downtown you've been there correct where detective gumshoe works yeah oh i thought that was gumshoe's house <laughs> um i was wondering something about your shield why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Oh, yeah, we did actually have to present that. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Yes, it's the day where Gumshoe shows up and cleans everything for me. <laughs> Working with the police department, we sort of, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's... It 5.12. <laughs> that's... Very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. It's because Jake Marshall only says one time and it's 512. I was going to say, you definitely shouldn't because for literally 15 years you thought you killed your own dad. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I trust is solid evidence. Stupid. Just like my memories. <laughs> I don't trust my memories. I only trust evidence, like my memories. <laughs> uh, Juggernaut Today gives us a sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. 
The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um, it's not suspicious or a glare, it's more of like a... A lustful gaze. Uh -huh. well, I was gonna say gawking, but sure. I was gonna say a fawning. Yeah, that works too. Uh, oh, fucking this guy! Um, excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth? What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. The style looks like he's from a different game. He does. It's, it's, it, style is different, for sure. Why? Yeah, why is his art style so different? It's very, <laughs> very unnerving. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir! No name of that kind, sir! Not in this report, sir! I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. <laughs> uh, my lid, it's blown. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? Stupid. I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir! But, but, sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! Yeah, his his face is I so cartoony compared to everybody I, else. I love, yeah. I love this guy. Oh, I hate him so much! He's just, he's in the wrong game! Give me your name! Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir! M Meekins, sir! Officer Meekins! That's great. Right. Officer Meekins, take your report and shove it! <laughs> You're gonna dock this guy's pay too, Edgeworth? <laughs> make, you, make like your report and leave. Oh, okay, well, yeah, he is gonna. There we go. And good luck with that raise next month. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, sir, I d didn't know... Also, hey, nice bandage hand. Yeah, what the? F Did he also stab somebody? I was gonna say you. uh... Oh, this! Oh, I got it when I was stabbing that guy. Oh, dang it! Got me again. <laughs> got Phoenix right. Again. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains. And good luck. God. <laughs> that was brutal as shit, Phoenix. What a fucking Fuck stab, you, dude. <laughs> I'd like to report a murder. Right. Yes, sir. God, you caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Okay. His lids, his lids back on. <laughs> his bean's been flipped. Ugh, my bean. <laughs> my bean. Uh, police department. Again, the fact that he was like, "Wait, what's the what's a police department?" Are you fucking kidding me? Right? <laughs> there he is. Whew. We're finally here. Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and the traffic wasn't even that bad. Los Angeles, am I right? <laughs> this is my first. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Question mark. <laughs> it's a period and then a separate question mark. Interesting. Hold on. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, baby. <laughs> Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Why did Very you good choice use of the word, word yeah. undulate? Oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. It's not really working. Wow, Mr. Wright. You know a lot about the police department. I mean, Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's next to him? Who's that next to him? 
someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger? Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <laughs> hey, hey, pal! What are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Thank you for saving me from the void. I was sent to the Shadow Realm a couple times. <laughs> Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Ah, uh, well... And why were you dancing so well? <laughs> I really, yeah, I'm like... How did you get to be so graceful? <laughs> He's amazing. Don't I'm you have to be a great dancer. Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. His blue gum shoes. Oh, that was very good. Okay, I like that. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. I have a lot of dancing with the blue badger to get back to. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. Quit. You, <laughs> you had better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> but why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor is convinced to the crime. <laughs> Pantran says he learned the dancing in acting school along with all his dramatique. <laughs> dramatique. <laughs> That's right. Forgot about that. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well... No! Come on, pal. <laughs> There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Who's the dumb broad? Me? <laughs> Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of, she's a relative of the suspect. Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. Oh, shut the fuck up, got you. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. Because we've been accused of using fake evidence. <laughs> because of so all much. the evidence that we faked. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, just kind of, just chilling. I'm busy, though. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? It was several times, slowly. <laughs> then he ran into my knife seven times. <laughs> then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. This is what your taxpayer dollars are going to. <laughs> Learning the badger dance. Perfect. It is, in fact, if you're pulled over and you ask the police officer to do the badger dance, he's legally obliged to do it. If, if that he, is true. If he can't, then... Uh... You get to whack his pee-pee. <laughs> I was going to say you get away with it, but sure, that too. <laughs> um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. It's kind of weird because he, he told us to not do anything and then he left for like hours. 
Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of the crime scene. It's unheard of, pal! Okay. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. That would be more. Should we present him things? Yeah. Uh, give him the knife. A what? Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car. Oh. Stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Uh, wait, I, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. <laughs> someone who must have, uh... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a, too, a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? Poor your fucking sister, goddamn. Oh yeah, that bitch. <laughs> I forgot all about her. We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Then present the trophy! Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the awards ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Congrats, yeah. Gumshoe. Congrats, yeah. Yeah, they give it to everybody, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? It's kind of funny that a prosecutor's thing would be a shield. Oh, there's a reason. Uh... I'll, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. <laughs> but I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumors. That's it? Damn it. Uh, maybe he knows the guy. Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. Go find a police officer right now <laughs> and give it to him. <laughs> it's people like you that get me into such trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Uh, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. That's my brother. Nah, my mistake. But don't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa! Oh, I remember! <laughs> Bruce Goodman! He's the victim! Oh my gosh, what a surprising thing that's not surprising. That's what I thought. <laughs> Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? He's the victim! <laughs> he died! <laughs> so, this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective, like myself. He was a good man. <laughs> detective Bruce Goodman. I hate you for that one. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. It was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but where it is, the chief prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot. And Lana's confessing as much. He's in a tough spot again. Again? <laughs> oh oh yeah. yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> that case where I defended him. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal. There have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses, having a tight butt. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Except for the butt one, that was true. That's, yeah, factual. 
<laughs> Plenty of evidence there. <laughs> Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, his latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took the case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Juggernaut today says, no, he was the one behind the gun. Remember, Zach? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, examine the blue badger. Oh, right, right. Of course. How could I forget to examine the icon that is the blue badger? Uh, I was wondering about that. What? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. Of course you made it. You made this Detective Gumshoe? The chief tr threw together some designs, and I just did my thing, pal. Again, taxpayer money at work. N nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the battery dies. <laughs> I do love how happy he is about it, though. Poor Blue Badger. Faded to dance until he drops. <laughs> Damn. But <laughs> thanks, deep. but thanks to uh, Energizer Bunny, uh, Energizer Batteries, uh, it can keep going longer than the average battery. And going. And, and going. going. This episode sponsored by Energizer. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your battery? <laughs> that's the same thing, right? And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the, the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is... Uh, what was his name? The guy in the parking lot. Uh, that'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? Nah, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West LA. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Damn. People in people in California are like, oh, 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 that's a good joke. God damn it. That that just about killed me. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. There's four cardinal directions: north, south, east, you. and west. <laughs> Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Okay. Hey, thanks, dude. How much longer is this? Sorry. Oh, it's a long time. I mean, if you guys want, we could maybe pause now and come back later. How, how much longer is this We still have one? to examine the crime scene. We yeah. have to talk to Jake again. Uh-huh. Uh, I think we have to talk to Edgeworth again. Oh, my God. We might want to call it for this week, actually, then. We are hitting three hours. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. We will be back here again on twitch.tv slash team every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if you can't catch us there, don't worry. It goes up on our YouTube on Monday and Tuesday as an edited, cut-down version. But until next time, I plead the fifth.